My life be like. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Not Fish and Chill TV. As you guys can see, my room is one big mess. That's because we're getting ready for our Florida trip, which is coming up really soon. We're leaving in, I don't even know, in a couple of hours. And we're, uh, we're still trying to get everything ready. Um, it's been nuts. So I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of tackle prep today. You guys can see this is all the tackle that's going to be going with me. Um, on my camera gear over there. And uh, it's going to be a race to the finish for sure. So uh, stay tuned and I guess we'll, uh, I'll get back to you whenever. Like I said, sorry the yard's a mess, but we're going to do a quick arsenal video right here. We've got my inshore and saltwater Shakespeare Alpha. It is a 7 foot medium action with a big old Shakespeare Alpha reel and uh, that's that. Then I got <clears throat> my spinning combo, it's like my super finesse stuff. My Shakespeare GX2, it's a 5.6 medium action rod with 6 pound P-line fluorocarbon. Then we got my cranking combo, it's got my uh, Okuma Stratus V. 6, 6 to 1 gear ratio reel with a uh, 12 pound P line fluorocarbon and a 7 foot medium heavy action Berkeley Cherrywood HD. Then we got a rod that I just picked up today. That is the Berkeley Lightning Shock Rod. It is a 6 6 medium heavy action paired with a Ebu Garcia Silver Max 6 4 to 1 gear ratio. Um, and all these are left handed, by the way. Then I got another rod I picked up today, Shakespeare Ugly Stick, GX2, 7 foot medium action rod, paired with a Quantum Pulse 6, 6 to 1 gear ratio. This has 50 pound uh, Mustad braid on, and also this one has 12 pound P-line, I sorry I forgot about that. Then I got um, my finesse, like my worm, my worm and jig thing. It's a 7.6 medium heavy action Abu Garcia Vendetta next generation rod paired with a Quantum Escalade 7 0 to 1 gear ratio reel. Finally, we've got my Berkeley Other Lightning Rod 7 foot medium heavy action with a Quantum Team KBD reel 7 3 to 1 gear ratio. And that's my top water rod. Um, the rest of these are all kind of all purpose. This is only, this is designated cranking. This is designated worm right here. This is designated like top water. Um, this is more like my jig rod right here. This is kind of my all purpose rod for right now. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, all these are great reels and great rods. Um, and these are all coming with me on the trip. Alrighty, update. We got the bin and all the levers and boxes. Can we going into? I think it's official, I have too many lures. Huh? I think it's official, I have too many lures. What do you think? I don't know, I Alrighty, so then onto the soft plastics. This bag I have <clears throat> top water frogs, the rubber one, the, the soft plastic ones, uh, lizards, and curly tail worms. I didn't really know where else to put the frogs, so I just put them in here since the lizards are in here. And, Lizards and frogs, you know, they're in the same sort of category. So that goes in there. Then next up we got flukes and soft swim baits and soft jerk baits. There. Then we got creature baits, self explanatory. Pretty much just creatures and beavers. Biggest bag, of course, is always Senko's. Then we've got brush hogs. And we've got tubes and grubs. Then we've 
we've got crawls and trailers. Finally, we've got finesse worms and any kind of finesse baits. Then we've got just the randoms, the broken ones. I have a biohazard bag just because it looks cool. And I got it from when I got my wisdom teeth out. And there you go. That's how I fit all my baits in the one box. That's what's going with us on the trip. Then what's going in there is going to be my scale. Extra reels. Got my Tournament MG Speed Spool and my Quantum Code. Those are the ones that are not currently being used. Um, I'm going to throw my line extra line into this bag and just toss it. Right. Let's go in there, eh? Some of the tools, spike it. Um, I'm go ahead and put that in this. Sorry, I'm kind of slow. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Yeah. Okay. Found it good. trying to get ready. There's still a lot needs to get done. So, uh, yeah, just try and finish. Try and finish. Alright, guys. Everything is packed. This is the shirt I'm wearing tomorrow. Johnny Morris Bass Pro shirt parents got for me. Got all the camera gear, movies and books. Hats and sunglasses, electronics. That's about it. Everything's packed, ready to go. Fishing stuff's in the bin. Uh, if you guys saw my Instagram post today, you guys can see fishing stuff was the first thing to get packed. Um, about it. You got anything to say, Mio? My buddy, you got anything to say? Nothing? Nothing to say? Nothing else? Really? Wow. Lame. Alright guys, well, the next time I will talk to you guys is going to be 2 in the morning. I'm going to be tired. And, uh, yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys then. What's going on guys? I'm exhausted. I got like an hour of sleep. heading out so I'll see you guys on the road see you house see you in two weeks got the coffee in hand the pet it's all good see you house Free house. Buy house. Oh, back up. Down there. You got anything to say, Grayson?
I can't wait.